the journey of success starts when your motive is redefined are we together the difference between carnality and spirituality is not necessarily the pursuit a sincere desire to be great but the intent the motivation to what end and that in order of priority as you press for wisdom the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom it's not the end of wisdom what is the beginning the word beginning there means it is the correct protocol for accessing wisdom that lasts that means if your pursuit for wisdom does not start with the fear of the Lord you will have corrupted wisdom there is such a thing as corrupted wisdom for instance the wisdom of Egypt it is corrupted wisdom when you learn of the wisdom of Egypt you come with righteousness you have sustained the ability to purify it so that you can remove that which is of God from that which is nonsense like your education whatever it is you can through the word of God rightly divide what you absorb and use as a principle and what you throw away but wisdom that is of God is first pure purified are we together the knowledge of God then the knowledge of his ways principles my son give me your heart and let your eyes attend to my ways and I've shared with you a few principles laws they didn't have time to explain them and now we spoke about the issue of faith and I'm teaching you that faith oh, the real definition of Bible faith that works it must be hinged on God first before your expectation so that where your expectation is lagging delayed or does not even come that testimonial of a relationship with god the privilege of communicating honor through obedience gives you consolation are you getting the point now so expectations are there but they are secondary your real motivation is the honor of obeying god as proof that you trust him and the Bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. If you look unto him, you will not be ashamed. Hold hands with someone by your left and right. Let's pray in the spirit for two or three minutes. Go ahead and pray. You want this word to stay in your heart. Someone go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We'll just take two or three minutes. You just do what I'm asking you to do. You have listened to this. I want you to pray in the spirit. You are not asking for anything. Let your attention be on Jesus and you are praying. Go ahead and pray. that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know that you may know that you may know that you may know if these things be in you and abound they will make that you are neither fruitful in the knowledge of God you are praying in the spirit just a few minutes but God is preparing your heart This is how we experience restoration and increase. When our attention, our focus is redirected back to Jesus. When our understanding and our alignment is gotten back in place. E 
Enlightened. Access to superior light. That was the true light that lighted every man. Lighted every man. Lighted every man. Lighted every man. Tabrande ke baraka tos ko te brati ka tos raka baraka tabrande ke baraka te brande ke barato sa te brande raka tabrande ke barato sko to brande te brande ke barata kata Alleluia Alleluia Praise the name of the Lord. See, in the presence of God, three things happen. Number one, the light that comes from his word brings an adjustment to your spiritual understanding. Number two, the second thing that happens is that there is an activation. I'm saying that because of what is about to happen here now. There is an activation. To activate means to make a life to a reality. To make a life, you see. The spirit of a man is like a gadget and these gadgets have different connection points and until that activation happens, that gadget will not function optimally. Like you buy a fridge, there is a place where you connect it to the power source but there is a place where you adjust. Are we together now? So the fridge is not just an empty box where you put things inside. There, there is a way you engage the fridge. That's how the spirit of a man is. You can be connected to the power source, but there are adjustments. There are times the fridge is not cold enough and you can adjust based on the atmospheric temperature. You can make certain adjustments. The times that we live in now require certain adjustments. It's like an iron. You want it to press your cloth, but now the thermostat, the kind of material you want to press requires that you use both water and fire a mystery both water and fire that water you sprinkle water on the cloth to make it a bit wet then you now iron it slowly with that fire and you see everything straightened hallelujah praise the name of the lord you came here since morning you have tabernacled in this place We'll have the time to pray in the evening but i will speak just over two people and then to honor god's word listen to me many of you what is happening to you is a baptism there is an immersion you are in this place but the call of god is upon your life these are the first group of people truly i'm not talking you're a businessman you are the call of god is upon your life you are actually having that call in ministry either in ministry or you are about to step into ministry there is a grace i'm trusting god to rest on your life now you need it you see haven't purified your motive and this includes men and women together it doesn't have to be men alone or women alone i want to pray for you now you are still holding the hands of someone and i'm praying that grace will rest not everyone this is not for everybody there are people who came here sincerely you are beginning a journey with God from this conference and that journey is going to lead you into deep dimensions in the spirit because the kind of grace that you are carrying the kind of mandate God is trusting you with it's a grace that the nations must hear about and in the name of Jesus right now I release I stretch my hands and I'm praying for you Enugu by the power that raised Christ from the dead everyone who has the hand of God the call of God upon his life let this grace I'm talking about that leads you like a river into deep things in the spirit deep things in the spirit deep things in the spirit deep encounters 
in the spirit that produce power and make you a man and a woman of stature may that grace rest on you whether you are in front whether you are the back whether you are following online may that grace in righteousness may it rest upon you now may it rest upon you now let it separate you unto righteousness let it bring you into a realm of power job said there is a path which no eyes the eyes of the whelps the, the vulture and the lion's whelps has not gotten there a path a virgin dimension in the spirit may the holy ghost take you through that path may the holy ghost take you through that path may the holy ghost take you through that path in the name of jesus the place of power the place of results where you become a man of stature in the spirit indeed Number two, the second group of people that I'm praying for now. Hallelujah. Look up, please. Let me have your attention. I'm going to pray that for everybody again, hopefully. But I'm going to pray for people now who have been stunted in an area in life. Not because of unrighteousness. Life has just happened to you in a way that is not favorable and rather than making progress in life you have found yourself even though you have engaged many principles like we thought for some reason you have just been at the same place you will be the first to experience this restoration fire and i want to pray it over you now for those people we don't have time i'm seeing that i've been given 10 minutes i'm grateful for that I want you to bring those people out. I will speak to them very quickly under the anointing. I'm going to pray. Some of you, like you'll be learning tonight, the reason why you are where you are is, is an engineering from darkness. It's an attack. Are we together? I told you that when spirits come into the life of an individual, they can make principles fail. Please, for such people, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to bring them out. I want to pray for them now under the power of the spirit i'm going to ask that you bring them out in the name of jesus father i pray for these men and women as you have put in my spirit anyone anyone at all who has been a apparatus a victim of these satanic afflictions i'm stretching my hands right now let that restoration fire fall on you now let it fall on you now. Bring them out. Let it fall on you now. No, I'm only asking those under the anointing to come. But since you people have come, I speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I, I, I need those under the anointing. Bring them out. Patterns. I hear the patterns. I hear the patterns. I hear the patterns. I'm hearing in my spirit patterns like father like son patterns patterns that have kept you down kept you bound kept you oppressed in the name of jesus i come as an apostolic and a prophetic voice to cry restore and i decree and declare let patterns break now 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 demonic engineering over your destiny let it break now let it break now let it break now let it break now Alas, master, for it was borrowed. I'm praying for you. Anyone here in any kind of calamity, whether debt financially or whatever it is, some bills, 
anything not giving you peace i'm praying for you let this restoration fire land on your head now let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now in the name of jesus let it rest upon you now is there someone called vivian 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 come god is about to change your story we don't have all the time my apologies sincerely vivian Vivian, I'm hearing the name Vivian. Do you believe in the power of God? I want to pray for you. The Lord is saying that the yoke of witchcraft over Vivian, what God says to one, he says to all. I'm praying that the yoke of witchcraft over Vivian, let it be broken now. Broken now. Broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release the family of Vivian in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakata pratika pelagetes, sabrende keparato kapratika tan, rakata bende kraketus. Hallelujah. Your father works with Einek. Your father works with Einek. This election people, Einek. Who is that person? Einek. Works with Einek. I want to pray for you. We have to wrap up. If not, we'll turn this place now to a miracle service. I just wanted to minister to one or two people. I neck. If there's someone like that, let me just pray for you quickly. Your father works with I neck. Where? Uh, Nsuka. Nsuka. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray restoration. When you see your dad, tell him you came to church and prayer was prayed over him that God will bring restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me somebody, you do business, but your business is grains. Grains. Like your business is not maybe what you do is grains. And the Lord is asking me to pray over you to pray over you because you are in debt to pray over you wherever you are whether you are following online or you are here grains i pray for you whatever has put you in debt in business listen i want you to inform any businessman you can find tell them to come to church this evening and contact grace it is foolish for you to think that the only thing that brings money is buying and selling i've taught you principles are powerful but when principles are failing, you need spirit assistance. Some of you, you have been doing business well, but this year things did not work well. Come this evening with hunger. Swallow your pride and come with hunger and say, God, change my story. November, December is enough for God to wipe your tears. I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. This lady wearing um, green, I want to pray for you, my dear. Every demonic thing, huh? the embargo of shame and reproach over your life and your family, I come against it now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. And when you see that, it means there is a garment of shame. I'm using her to pray for any sister here, any daughter of Abraham, every embargo of shame that is upon your face, I pray for you, may that veil be torn right now. May that veil be torn right now. May that veil be torn right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is someone, well, we may not pray for the sick now, we'll leave it to evening. But you have what the doctors call hyenaire. Hyenaire. 
pioneer. Who is that person? Pioneer. You've confirmed it medically. You're having the pain now. How long has it been? Because I'm seeing that this is a pattern in a family. Yes, all of, us, we have all of you in your family, you have it. God wants to break that thing now. Do you believe in the power of God, my dear? How can everybody in a family have higher near? You see, this is how you will know that it is a demonic thing. Any trouble you are going through now, and you are seeing your family members go through it too, in the name of Jesus, if you have the faith to believe, I pray for you. An end comes to that tragedy. You can imagine. Let, let me hear what she's saying. Been two. She has operated one. Is Your sister. One. Yes, Favor. Her name is Favor. Yes. What happened to her? She has hernia. She has operated one. Is many one. And I'm carrying my own, but I don't want to operate. They said next year you come and remove your own. Yes. Thank God for conferences like this. Oh. Thank God for conferences like this. That give us an opportunity to experience the power of God. You see, you will not really know the value of power till trouble comes to your life. And everything that can solve that trouble is not there. The Bible says the woman with the issue of blood, she first tried medicine but she had spent all her earnings. So that one was beyond sickness. It was a devourer. She was in no way bettered. Hallelujah. My friend, this man, look at me. Tap him for me. Hold my hands, eh? I want to bless you. I don't know what you do. I don't know your name. I just saw myself holding your hands. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands and I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, let there be increase. And restoration in your life increase don't forget this prayer go back and war with it and you will marvel and wonder at what God does in your life God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ praise the name of the Lord now we we'll have to stop somewhere here the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet we just have a few hours and we're back for the miracle service since you are here early let me tell you two things to do to prepare for a miracle number one take the time to contemplate on the goodness of God not your problem the goodness of God that he who did not spare his son but offered him up freely for us the Bible said how much how shall he not much more give us all things freely when you set your affection on Jesus Christ it is not evil to expect things to come once that initial focus is there you've pegged it like a thermostat, then it is fair and it is righteous to receive all the consolations that come with salvation. The Bible says it's with joy you will draw out of the wells. Salvation has wells. There are benefits to serving God. Psalm 103 talks about six of them. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not his benefits. Number one, who forgiveth thy sins, who healeth all thy, thy diseases, are we together? Who delivers you from death, oppression? And the Bible talks about um, um, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who redeemed thy soul from destruction, who satisfied your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like that of an eagle. So I will pray for you. But for the dear lady, please place your hand if your family members are around, invite them. Home. Invite them. Eh? If they cannot come, they should connect online. Father, I pray for this lady in the name that is above all names. Hyenia, I decree and declare that you leave this lady now. The Bible says, Ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound these years? Ought not this woman... I stretch my hands and I decree and declare right now that pain, that swelling, that discomfort, whatever it is, hear the word of the Lord, give way now. I release the healing power of Jesus to your body 
and I declare correction. And as it's happening to you, let it happen to your sister also and all your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.